How was the flight home, Jimmy? Uh, it was actually good, uneventful. I, uh, I, That's how you want it. Yeah, nice, boring flight. No um, frozen uh, flight deck? or Yeah, no giggling. <laughs> no giggling in the cockpit <laughs> before you get a little chill. Can I have a blanket, please? Oh, burr. <laughs> a blanket. <laughs> the uh, ice scraper to look out the window. Ooh, what's happening up there? Yeah. Flying out there. Um, I was talking to the guys in the in the in the dress in the in the, uh, the, in the green the uh, office. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> uh, <laughs> listen to him. He's all Jay Leno'd out. He doesn't know. Oh, the dressing the green room. Green room. Oh, the friggin' office. When I was having my makeup, out looking at Ben's cock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just like you know, like I said. We should do a comparison today. Our show compared to Jay Leno. Yeah. You, at Leno, you get a nice green room. They probably bring you in like a gift basket of something. The well, host actually talks to you before the show. <laughs> well, I actually got, they gave you these weird stadium seat warmers from the Tonight Show, like with a little uh, heating pad, yeah. like the little seat warmers. Really? Yeah, they, it's like just to bring beer or whatever. To oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. And um, it was good. Uh, what was I going to say? Well, uh, I was just comparing the two. It's pretty funny if you think about it. Because, like, you walked in today, and everyone congratulated you, and then you sat at your desk and went through your butt man collection of magazines. <laughs> That's just like it being on the Leno show. Oh, just like it. Uh, I think you were going to talk about the flight out to L.A. Uh, I felt like such a hack even in life even talking about this, but there was a fat lady next to me. Uh. I honestly got, thought I was going to have an air rage incident. Like, like beyond being funny, this fat... I I hate... Fucking fat people. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Dude, I swear to God, I, it was beyond, like, comedically joking. Mm -hmm. I had the emergency row. Like, when you walk onto a plane, you have that, that all that space by that one first seat there in, in coach. Right. Because in coach, both ways. Ouch. Yeah, it's, you know, it's fine. That'll hurt. Yeah, it's, you know, I didn't mind mingling with the folks, getting to yeah. know people. What is it you guys do? You know, I had no idea what they did in the second part of the plane. <laughs> <laughs> the rowers. <laughs> yeah. And, uh... This I had all this leg room and this fat lady who was like an unapologetically fat lady like just yeah it, hey if you're fat and you're on a plane you better be one cordial fat person you better be very accommodating to everyone and realize you know what they have to do they have to realize that you are an inconvenience to people yes oh. and you must go out of your way now to make that to minimize that inconvenience really fast I was flying to Orlando recently for my uh, my nephew's high school graduation. And I was one of the, I, I'm the guy that has to be on the plane just about last. I, I don't want to sit on a plane for 20, 30 minutes because you're going to fly for a while and sit anyway. So I, I, I wait to, um, where they're looking around like anyone else, and then I yeah. finally go. So I, I get on the plane pretty late, and I get, um, I'm walking down the aisle in front of another person that was, uh, you know, last minute traveler. Really fat lady. Okay? Oh, boy. And I swear to you, because I'm behind her. I'm watching everyone's face as she's walking down the aisle going, oh, and there are empty seats because it's not a full yeah, flight. Yeah, don't that's, sit next that's to me. That's the key to the story because usually if there's not many, if there's only one empty seat and a fat lady's coming, you know you're you're screwed. Yeah. But in this case, there were enough empty seats where people, you could see in their eyes going, oh, my God, please not me, not me, because it's like a three-hour oh. flight to Orlando. And sure enough, she got the middle seat, and these two guys were so openly bummed of on, course. on either side of her. Because it wasn't that she was just fat and she was going to be snug. She could barely fit in her seat. And I'm telling you, there was, like, fat spilling because, over. Because, yeah, you, they sit seats. down, they squeeze in there, but then the rest of it is hanging over. Their shoulders are in your, yep. you know, it's oh. it's in your seat. It's in your seat. The lunch lady arms just flapping. Yeah, flapping. But if the, you, God forbid, now you got to get out and take a leak and crawl over it. But the looks... From these people going, oh, my God, is it going to be me? You just saw it in their eyes, and they were all just... And finally, she sat down and wrecked this. Uh, these two people's, uh, their trip to Ruined Orlando. Whole flight. Uh, I, la continue. I oh, laughed sorry. going to Orlando. This was Los Angeles. No, I know. Yeah. I know. Oh, to my Orlando God. and back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it was... It, it, sometimes you feel bad for someone. Like, look, I know this is your own food addiction, but you do feel bad. Like, I know this has got to be embarrassing for you to have to... Because you know you're inconveniencing people. That's why they should just minimize the inconvenience by being nice and, and Absolutely. giving. Absolutely. Giving. She, they should just wear a little sign on the front that says, little, the shirt should just say, oink, oink. And on the back, it should say, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, hey, uh, get your oink, oink, I'm sorry t-shirts. That's right. Going to be handing those out. Your official Opie and Anthony t-shirt. <laughs> you know, I've had a bad ankle for a while. I think I have a sprained ankle. I think that's a problem. And she banged her knapsack. She had a knapsack, a pillow, like a, a big, like a, like a red and Ooh. orange pillow, um, and a little, like a shopping bag, like a plastic shopping bag, 
with food and matzah oh, and cheese man. and crackers. And she was so fat, she couldn't sit into a seat. She had to line up her fat pig back and then kind of collapse back into the seat. Fall you know, see into a fat it. Yeah, yeah. can't sit there. Yeah, they have to collapse spit. into it. Yeah, and then everything could get so like into dock the seat. with the seat. Yeah, <laughs> line it up and then just <laughs> go. Scott, we have contact. We have docked. Oh, that's great. <laughs> that's right, you oh. fat cosmonauts. <laughs> Spaceship pod class, and she was sitting there, and uh, I was I, I was getting to the point where I started to mumble things, like I had my headphones on, and I actually started going, "You fat fuck, <laughs> you <laughs> fat pig," because she fell asleep. Three, of course, the fat slobs always fall right asleep, and her open mouth. I actually I was elbowing her, like, wow, almost aggressively getting physical with her, and I really thought I was gonna have an air raid incident. There was one point where I wanted to just lean over and bite her. She was like, yeah. her fat arm was was in my place, and the the rage oh, sinking your teeth into it, and just grr at you, fucking slob. The nerve of you to treat yourself like that and then inconvenience. I mean, yeah. is somebody fat call up and and explain to me what goes through your head? Because I, I I felt bad being such a scumbag. Like I know that you're you're human beings, and it's got to be embarrassing. You know you're inconveniencing people. How about a, a John Candy-like smile and a, hi, how are you? And almost the face that looks like, I'm sorry I'm like this. I'm sorry I'm inconveniencing you. It can be done with a look. Yeah. It really can. Where they look over and go, uh, hi, yeah, I'm sitting here, mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. And you know they, they're saying, look, I'm fat, I'm ruining your flight, I'm I sorry. have to get from point A to point B, <laughs> and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. A bus was out of the question. Trust me, my life is miserable. Yeah. I know it. Yeah, believe me. I'm after sorry, you get my off miserable this plane, life is going to inconvenience you for five hours, but I have to live like this yeah. my entire life. We will both leave this plane. You will soon forget about this, and I have to live this. I still have to be a fat every slob minute of the just day, ruining right. people as I walk. You're going to be on the Tonight Show. Right. I'm going to be a fat fuck. <laughs> it was her arrogance and her lack of like she yeah. bumped into my bad foot twice in her book bag. She had to go in the back and put her her, her bag in because she came on last minute. And then she sits there and she's got the pillow bumping into me and her bag is everything's touching me and I hate being fucking touched. Yeah, I really don't want yeah, it. I it's like you. You, you stay in your space, I'll stay in my space. But mm. she was in my space and it made me have rage, man. Like, yeah, for real rage. I wanted I to smack her it. in her fucking mouth, an open-handed like cup smack right against her fat. Matzo eating mouth. She had a bag of matzos. Hey, stop eating carbohydrates, you fat fuck. And with cheese also? Oh, of course. Of course. God forbid she yanks out an Atkins snack. <laughs> God forbid she yanks out maybe a piece of fruit. Some fruit. God forbid. There's got to be cheese involved with everything. Yeah, because that's glands. You know, that, that that's your glands, yeah. by the way, when you decide to eat cheese instead of a fucking apple. You know, <laughs> oh, you can't help myself. Really? You can't stop shoveling it in? You lonely fucking molestation cover upper. <laughs> <laughs> Even on the plane. Yeah, that's why. Even I'm on the plane, got to bring our own food. I'm with you. I'm not buying that. I can't help myself. No. They can't help themselves, but you see them in the supermarket mm. going to the Enemans uh, aisle or whatever. Oh, yes. yeah. Instead of the fruit and vegetable aisle. I saw that in the uh, drugstore, one of the Rite Aids the other day. I was in there, and a couple of girls come in, and they're really heavy, big, fat asses. And right by the register is all that impulse buying stuff. Mm -hmm. And they were picking up Entenmann's cakes, like this berry-filled friggin' strudel thing and other thing. And then they're, they're talking to each other like, oh, boy, I know what this is going to do to me. Ah, boy. All right, well, put it down. Nope. Shoveled it right in her face before she even paid for it. When you have to take your fat ass up to the register and hand the woman an empty piece of cellophane with the price on it so she can go... Beep! And scan it because you couldn't wait to leave the store before you eat. You may have a problem. There's just empty stuff that she says. Right. <laughs> empty boxes and papers. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I'm good. What do I owe you? It's you not a restaurant. You might be a fat ass. <laughs> well, it's just it's it's just aggravating because it's like I read an article and some guy was saying well, why is it we're so comfortable attacking people's smoking addictions mm -hmm. he said it was, he said that we were using a table at a dinner and like they were talking about some guy who smokes at the table he wasn't smoking at the moment but they're like you know you gotta quit smoking it's so bad for you and he's like yeah I know I know and he's kind of like got that oh shucks I am a guilty smoker why do you never see somebody attacking someone who's fat like 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 or other addictions like look at you you just why don't you stop eating like why is that uh -huh. an acceptable addiction to attack and and I know foods a necessity and cigarettes aren't I know all that but why is one acceptable and not the other why are you a bad guy if you tell somebody stop eating or or if she was eating celery or had yanked out some just like you know crackers because she thinks they're healthier I was eating celery and fruit I would have had half the anger like at least right. this poor this poor 
almost genderless creature <laughs> is, is attempting to do something for herself. <laughs> almost genderless, huh? Yeah, she was almost to the point of so fat, you have to guess at what's between at the legs. What it is. Yeah. Yeah. What is that about, like, fat? That kind of... It, it messes up everything where you can't quite tell, yeah, man the, or woman. The fat, like anything sensual or, or masculine or feminine about a face just becomes cherubish and round <laughs> and John Panettish. <laughs> yeah, you just can't quite figure it out. Yeah, if she would have been trying, you would have said, well, obviously there's a problem there yeah. or something she can't control. But when you're coming on with matzah and cheese and... <laughs> Or a little apologetic, like, hey, look, when you get drunk on a plane, I'm an alky. When you, if you get drunk on a plane and you're abusive and obnoxious to the person next to you, mm. they're not going to go, hey, look, this person has an addiction. I should feel some empathy. They're going to go, you fucking drunk? Shut your yeah. fucking mouth. Shut up. That's mm -hmm. the way it is with this. Get out of my space. you got to try to talk them into leaving the plane <laughs> when they're drunk. Yeah. The door's right there, pally. Yeah, just go ahead. I, I dare Leave. You. Let's go to Seattle. Jeff? Yo. What's up, Jeff? How's it going, fellas? Oh, and hey. Angel, how you doing? Hi, Jeff. Nice to talk to you guys. Hey, you know, the big problem. So, uh, I lost 200 pounds just by not stuffing my fat face anymore. <laughs> so you did it on your own, huh? That's it, man. I started exercising, yep. eating right, and now I'm down to a size 38 in pants. If I can do it, and I'm from West Virginia, and no, I've got shoes on, and I've and I've got all my keys. <laughs> well, apparently you fucking used them for all these years. <laughs> like a wood chipper. But it was, <laughs> <laughs> but it was, uh, it was just something, it's hard to do at first, right? And then you start to see results and it gets a little bit better. Yeah, it was real hard at first. I mean, it was like taking a bandsaw to me, uh, taking my food away. I mean, it just, ugh. It's real bad. That's good, man. All Did right. you have a little coming out party for your penis? <laughs> <laughs> when you cause when you finally see it again, I, okay. have you heard the nightmares of what fat guys go through with their schlong? What? It, the fat builds up in the pubis region. It's a very fatty area, and it builds up and puffs up so much that it passes your your schlong and buries it. Makes you look like you're hung like an acorn. You got nothing there. Might as well be a vag. <laughs> and it probably smells like urine all the time because you uh, drip into it. Uh, uh, Would you tongue out the, uh, uh, like, under the helmet, like, especially la, if they're... La, 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 I don't hear you. Uncut. La, 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 la. <laughs> you are disgusting. The unclipped helmet of a fat man. Like a, oh, stop it. Yeah, I want a cup of Joe, too. Stop it. Big Ben, how about a young fella come oh, here? Hold Maybe, on. Uh, hold on. Let, let me make the official announcement that we do on this show. Bill needs coffee. Yeah. Nothing for me today, thank you. All, All right, right, we're going to take our first break. Why don't we go to Yellow Discipline, Jim Norton. Oh. <laughs> Jim Norton, the star of the show today after his huge appearance on uh, Leno the other real night. Real star. A real star on our program. Uh, the Elephant on Southwest. We'll play that off Yellow Discipline. And your new CD is now available on eataBullet.com. Yes. It's called? Uh, yeah, Trinkets I Own Made from Gorilla Hands. All right, mm -hmm. but off his first CD, we go to break with this. Just can't stand this phony niceness. That's why I like Southwest Airlines. The only airline I really support emotionally. Ever since they booted those big fat people off the plane. Yeah, good for them. I'm not talking, these are not people, I'm not saying that somebody that's 300, 325, Miss America, we eat good, I overindulge, we all do. You ever see somebody so fat it makes you angry? <laughs> like you want to grab them by their 12 XL shirt? How did you get so fat? <laughs> and I'm talking in the area of 700, 750. You know, like you ever see somebody so fat they sit on the couch and their legs stick straight out? <laughs> If you have legs like baby arms, change your eating habits. <laughs> and of course, we're, we're such a pathetic, litigious society. You know, you sue for everything now. They're suing the airlines. You know, we don't think we should have to pay for two seats. Yeah, well, I don't think I should be uncomfortable because you're repressing childhood rape memories with pure fat and carbohydrates. <laughs> You don't want to pay for two seats? Fine. Hire a horse trailer to pull you to your destination. <laughs> then hang your fat jowls out the back and chew oats for 3,200 miles, you monster with no willpower. <laughs> You're a good crowd, man. Like sand through the hourglass. So is the Owen Dave.